That's better. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Haunted Wasteland. Nintendo likes its wastelands. Really? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Huh. And deserts. And I can say dungeons. deserts, but wastelands. There's a, in Star Fox, there's a whole wasteland planet in both, in two of the games. In both two. In two of the games. Two of the major games. There's also a wasteland in, I think, Chrono Trigger. There's a few ways to get across yeah. this. You can it's more of like a jump, jump thing. You can also use the hover boots to get across that. Now, explain what we're doing. Uh, walking across a desert. Can you see that? Okay, basically what he has to do is, <laughs> because the desert is st sandstorms raging, he has to follow these markers in the distance, and if he goes off and strays from them too far, he's going to get lost and get warped back to the beginning of the desert. Yeah, but there's also a shop to visit. There's a shop to visit, yeah. This guy sucks. <laughs> it's just how he has to do this, because there's no normal way to uh, navigate yeah, the yeah, I desert. To, I do have to use the hover boots to get over there. That's for sure. Well, what's he doing? He's slapping his knee. But he's so pretty much still otherwise. A dangerous running really object. 200 rupees! I want bomb cheese for 200 rupees. No. You fuck off. I have 200 rupees. Not true. Uh. God damn archery! <laughs> I do think during the live recording, I was basically like. I don't want, I don't want to buy that for 200 rupees and he said you don't even have 200 rupees I'm like don't maybe maybe probably you probably can't see these as much as we can't see these but during gameplay we could totally see them sort of you just have to wait until they come into view because sometimes when the dust's going around it's really hard to see it you just have to be patient and look for the movement in the sun. yeah I do think if you read the signs you'll know what to do well you'll you'll notice that um their movement's specifically different than the movement of the sand across the screen, so you just have to walk for the movement. Well, that's because the sand on the screen is always moving in the same direction, mm -hmm. no matter which way you're facing. Now, this is like a little, I guess I would call this like a, an, outpost. A fortifi an outpost of fortification. That's a, It's kind of a midway point in the desert. Yeah, yeah, golden scope. That's why I made it nighttime, by the way. In case you couldn't tell. Naturally. So from that's, a, that's actually is kind of a tricky golden skull tool. No, I believe from this point out there's no more flag posts. Well, no, no there's there are. is. There are. Mm -hmm. okay. They're just not important, really. Yeah, they're not as important as they were getting here. Fairy! Mm. I don't need it, but I want it. I want it. Well, yeah. you got it. I did. I'm excited and happy about that. Clearly. Well. You know how, um, how did you do in the past when you first played this game? During the desert? Oh, in the, oh god, I don't remember. Did you get lost Probably a lot? not well. <laughs> did you get lost a lot? Probably. Because I know I did. Things screwed me around a lot. I'm just guessing based on my performance with many N64 games. Hmm. What about oh, you, man. Piff? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um... I remember doing this pretty well as a kid. Uh, I think the hardest thing was just hook shocking, yeah, hook shocking, hook <laughs> shotting to the uh, box at the beginning. I think that was it. I want to read this while standing on top of it. Oh, with the eye of truth, you can see ah. There he is. There you. Let me guide your way. Yeah, it kind of sucked too, considering I can't use my lens of truth until he's done talking. I took it off, like, right away. <laughs> like, uh, where did he go? There he is. Along this pathway, and if it goes out of the sight of the Eye of Truth, is that a problem? Uh, no. He usually just stops. Okay. Actually, he doesn't usually just stop. He stops. <laughs> yeah. Can you attack him? No. Well, I guess you could try, but I don't think it would do anything. I'm just curious, because it is an enemy unit shell. Yeah. <laughs> it uses the Poe skin, but he's a good guy. What the fuck was that? That was a lever. Oh, those shitheads. I hate those things. <laughs> what was that? A lever. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> they're just really annoying because they're so fast. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But, but they only go in one line. That's true. They do not move beyond that one line. <sighs> oh, man. He's really messing around with you. Yeah, but I think he's about to go directly to where I need to go. 
You know, we're <laughs> calling it a he, but... I don't it's really... a ghost, whatever. Yeah. It's an it, okay? No, okay. I, I'm just saying. It's genderless. It's dead. <laughs> Unless we know the backstory. If it's dead, does its gender matter? I don't know. If, it would, if you died, would you want someone put loving mother on your tombstone? <laughs> Maybe. Depends. <laughs> Depends on how funny it is. It'd bother me. <laughs> Desert Colossus? Yep. It doesn't look like Colossus. It's talking about the statues. Oh. I'm not quite sure how far you sink in the sand, but if you stand in place, as you probably noticed at the beginning, you kind of sink in a bit. Yeah. And you can... die? No. You just... you just go slower. Oh. Oh yeah, because you can see his feet right now. Yeah. They're slowly sinking. Getting, getting this golden skull toll is kind it's of... It's gonna be thing. daytime. You're gonna be daytime. All day, every day. Oh! That son of a bitch. It's a good thing I have this if sun If you just song. take care of those guys, you could get it. They don't disappear! Well, you can kill I them. I think you can kill a lot of them until they do not respawn. No. You can kill a bunch, and then there will be a gigantic blue one. And then, when you kill that one, more green ones spawn, and then a gigantic blue one, and it keeps going. What's the blue one? So special with the blue one. You'll see. You gonna you gonna make one come out? Yeah. Awesome. Because I don't I'm know. Sure about they this. stop after the blue one. I mean, besides the um, going back and forth. There he is. What's that called? It's a lever. Still, it's big and blue. I can't even call it a big lever. No. Oh, the gear lever. It does take uh, quite a bit more damage than the other ones. It's like a sub-boss worth of damage. Yeah. He actually does take about as much damage as a... Uh, I don't I... see any levers out. Shush, just because I was wrong. <laughs> Doesn't mean you need to blatantly point... <laughs> it's just funny because you played this game. Well, I, I don't stand around and kill levers all day. I'm uh, sorry. You just did. That'd be a great. <laughs> well, I wanted I wanted to show the big blue lever because that's actually kind of interesting. It is. It's kind of like when you're a little kid and those skull kitas come out. So you you just found this fairy fountain. Uh, what exactly is this one gonna do? Well, it's the last of the three powers based on great spirits of the land. So we had. Din, and then Faror, and now we have Nehru, and uh, it's going to be called Nehru's Love, and it creates a magical protective field around you, which you can't be injured while you're using it, but you can be knocked down and backwards. Oh, that's kind of... Also, if you get crushed and we're going to be sent back to, like, the beginning of an area, then that would happen too, and if you're grabbed by a wall master, that won't save you. <laughs> so, it's only just... It's just physical damage. damage. Physical damage. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, I guess also, good. you can't use any other magic while you're using it. Is it so, good? spin attacks don't work, and the lunch truth doesn't work. Is it good for bosses? I guess. You don't know? I, I guess it would be. Like, I mean, I don't usually use it on bosses, but I suppose it would be. It'd be helpful on Bongo Bongo. Shut up! Nah. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> I tried so hard! Yeah, so did I, but I still couldn't save North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> That's just an impossible cause right there. Did it eventually. <laughs> eventually. That's eh, alright, I know I screwed up during this Let's Play. Well, you live, you learn, and you make mistakes. <laughs> Why do you sound like a motivational poster? <laughs> By M1. A living motivational poster. What happened? I used to be a jerk. What did you do to me? I don't know. But you put in my punch. You, you silly You don't drink goose. punch. How do you know? <laughs> it's not your thing, yeah. I like punch. What kind of punch? Fruit punch. Now, <laughs> exactly. Guess what my favorite kind of crystal light drink mix is? Strawberry. Fruit punch! <laughs> Orange. Um, kiwi, banana, strawberry. No, I don't think they make that. What? That'd be delicious. Fuck. <laughs> I played the Song of Storms. What is this though? Fill up a lake. What With fairies! Fairies! It's, kind of it's a fairy fountain. 
<laughs> it's a fairy fountain that I made with my storms. <laughs> you have to play it on the rock, too, or else it doesn't work. These are my warnings. <laughs> you don't even... I know. <laughs> what? I'll have to show you something. I guess I missed something. Just, lo just look up Undertow ending. Uh, oh, what the fuck is Undertow? <laughs> exactly. I was gonna say exactly as well. Stop um, spitting everywhere. <laughs> good work. Good work, Shepard. Can you, can you be a sprinkler with that all that spitting you're doing? No. <laughs> oh, can you water my Does garden? Does too much work. <laughs> Does too much work? Does too much work. Now you'll notice, you can't move that. It's too heavy. How do you know it's too heavy? Maybe it's just magical. Maybe it's a wall and you can't what? push it. I can't! <laughs> You're too, too big. big. I'm too big and too weak to do anything in here. Too big. What are you gonna do? I don't know. I'm beginning Which to think addictive. that Al is following me. You can't escape, man. Is that a stitch? How is he here? Wait a minute. Uh, I, I just saw... Is that a stitch on the wall? A stitch? Or a snitch? What? Oh. Oh. Oh! From... No! <laughs> it totally looks like one, though. It does look like one. It's a Except ball with... the Triforce with, on it. It's a ball with wings, I mean... I, I, I think some people stole a lot of things from Ocarina of Time. I call copyright infringement. This is terrible. Shh. Terrible! Oh Don't my god. Banjo Kazooie. Shh. Am I going? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep bringing that up? I don't understand. Bringing up what? God. Oh, no. Because <laughs> I'm a true believer! Obviously. No, I meant Banjo Kazooie. Oh, because oh. everything. St every game ever made stole things from Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie. It's a fact. First-person shooters copied off of Banjo-Tooie, and everyone knows it. Where? What part? The first-person shooting parts of Banjo-Tooie. Okay, you think there's never been a first-person shooter nope. before Banjo-Tooie? Nope. <laughs> like Doom? Doom stole from Banjo-Tooie. Doom was made before Banjo-Tooie. Doom stole from Banjo-Tooie. <laughs> you are it's rational. It's true and factual. <laughs> 